Okay, so now that you've imported your video, it's time for us to actually start editing. And once again, this might be a little bit different depending on the editing package that you're using, but um, if it looks different, I think YouTube can be very helpful in how to set up your own editing program. So what I'm gonna do here is these are some files from when I was working at a tea company, and I'm just going to find a video that I wanna bring in and set as my first uh, clip for my project. And I'll use this right here. You can see as I move my cursor over this, we get an idea of what's happening in the video. So I'm just gonna double click. That's gonna bring it up here in the preview window. And now as I move this cursor around, you can kind of hear the audio. That's probably gonna be really annoying for you. So you can turn that thing, which is called audio scrubbing on and off by holding down shift and S for sound. Now, after I've done that, you can see there's no audio. So we can turn that off back on once again by holding down Shift S. So I'm just gonna move this to the point where um, the actress there holds on. Let's actually get it right here, right before she moves it. And we can get frame specific by using the left and right arrow keys. So right there is where I want it to start. That's So my start point, if you guys remember, is called my endpoint. You do that by pressing the I key, no modifiers, just I. Then I'm gonna scrub this over after everything's set and it's down, get that hand, we'll put it right there where the hand's down. And once again, I can fine tune that. And then I'm going to, this is my out point. This is the point where it ends. So press O for out. And now I'm ready to bring this into my sequence. Now the first one that you bring into the sequence, you have to drag down like this. After you do that though, you're gonna want to um, go in and instead of dragging down, which takes a lot more time, you can just add to it by either pressing these buttons or the shortest way is either pressing the period key or the comma key. And we'll talk more about what that does in the next video.